right here. Oh yeah, he went and bought it. He was at Home Depot. Uh, yeah. Oh, he was buying a brand new one. No, he was buying an element something, something like he showed it to me. He's like, Kelly, this could have been like uh, a fire in our house. And I'm like, oh, okay. wonderful. <laughs> She's on. All right. So the first part on the agenda is the 2018 wrap up. So. We're pretty familiar, three of us have been wrapping up. I mean, we've been wrapping up for like for months. months. <laughs> so, Kathy, can you Kathy, tell me to, for your sake, you about to wrap up. <laughs> for your sake, well, we can tell you. <laughs> if I can tell you about what else is on. So, for Camp Raleigh, we, in the end, oh, damn it, did I drop the red line? That's we were off by $4,100. Team camp, this team camp, thankfully had an overage of $2,200. So in the end, we were. Um, oh no. Yeah. I think we were 19. You were 1977. So we, in the end, we were at 2212. Yeah. I think we did. Well, that would be good. Let me, I, I'd have to look, but I, I think we can steal you in our house. Yes. I'm pretty sure that we threw that in there because we knew, knew. It's coming. Yeah. Yes, it is a good note. Because it wasn't a note on the either from Caroline, so maybe, maybe she did and she's expecting that. So that's where we, that's where we ended up. Pretty good. Not bad. Because it's your kids. What was our overall negative? 22, 22, 12. 22, 12, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's really what we did. Um, so parent survey, you can go to that real quick. Yeah, that was fun. That. So we only had 26 people respond, which is 29% of um, uh, parents out there. So we so for the first question, it was, was this your first year of camp rolling in your team? 46% said yes, 53% said no. So 46 said um, it was their first year? Yeah, 46% said it was their first year and 53% said no. But to me that was good because it seemed like all the new people were more than happy to provide responses. Right. Which is great. Yeah, right. Because I, you know, I had to choose, I'd rather have to be yeah. yeah. We actually just started with the survey. At seven twelve. Yeah. Let's see. So forty six percent said yes, fifty three said no. Second question, how was your registration experience? Um, thirty eight percent said it was good. Forty two percent said it was great. Nineteen percent said it was so so. And nobody said it was terrible or eh. Well that's good. <laughs> But we don't know if they all used Forge Engine or if they did it manually, correct? Right. We don't know which way they were going. Right. Um, so we had six comments on that. That's a wonder. Yeah. <laughs> so we had six responses to that question. One was not a lot of details were released ahead of time. So talking about um, the hype leading up to registration. So people may not have known about registration coming in until maybe the last minute. This could be an individual. We did, in fact, not hype it up. I thought we, we did. Have. I thought we did the previous time. Anyway, I didn't do it as well this year. We're putting out posters as the last year. Somebody said, well, I would have appreciated doing a paper registration instead of online with all fees. I would not have made the deadline since I waited too long to register. Um, I knew I wanted Ashton to go to camp. <laughs> Oops. <laughs>
something's not getting somewhere, so maybe we just... Well, that was two comments out of... Yeah. Right. 90. True. That's true. Six attendees. Yeah. Or 60 families, yeah. I should say. 60-something families. But. Um, I know something came from my child's backpack. I think it's an RGS. And then I took it over to Summersworth and sent it home through the Summersworth schools. It... Summersworth, they got it when the registration was due. Uh. So, because I finally got the okay from the superintendent and then had to do some running around figuring out if I was distributing it or the superintendent's office was distributing it. Mm -hmm. And by the time I found out I was distributing it and got all the copies made, because it took two or three days to get the copies made mm -hmm. through the town hall because they needed a thousand copies for the two summers were schools. Oh my goodness. And they could have emailed it, but that would only get to 50% of the families. Well, I know we also talked about too that um, we wanted to get ahead of it this year more hyping it up more mm -hmm. so if it really is a concern you know with a broader audience we can we know that we're the business that we want to do we can create something like that mm -hmm. that's true mm -hmm. we've already thought about it's mostly those kids are registered well although if we're only strictly going for something now we have to make, make sure, sure that we know that. And, and also to make sure that we have enough time that people can apply so starting it early on the fourth <laughs> um, the next one was clear info regarding payment plans. I think in the actual paper registration it's clear, but mm -hmm. I'm looking at sports and I'm not so sure it was as clear as it was in the paper mm -hmm. um, stuff. It just it seemed, I was confused by it when I looked at the online. I don't know. I just think that the online could have been a little bit clearer. Okay. Um, the other comment was, it's cumbersome, not easy to see and use on the phone. It's cumbersome. I it can't is cumbersome. imagine doing that on your phone, though. It was cumbersome. Yeah. There was information, like, if you had, say, you had three kids, and, or four or five kids, <laughs> so she would have to put in all your, the parent information over and over and over Yeah, it's got to be an easier way for families to register. It just seems like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I told you that. The last one was register online. It was super easy. There you go. Uh, third question. How would you rate your child's experience? Um, one is terrible and five is great. Um, so 30% was great. Um, so I did one through five. Mm -hmm. So five being good. So five was 30%, four was 46%, three was 15%, two was 0%, and one smiley was 7%. So, so we awful. awful. So there was that was a terrible experience. Huh. So let me give you a comment on that. My child had fun. I just wish as a parent a few things had gone differently. No was that more, a lot no of no more. Hard, <laughs> hard to fix something you don't know. Yeah. yeah. So very unorganized. It didn't feel the staff was all that well trained or caring for my child. Got a lot of sunburns. Also rude at pickup. Hmm. several times, timely, responsi timely responsiveness needs to improve. They really jumped the gun on a blanket statement for all campus restricting food items for a food allergy that was fully explored with the family reporting it. Uh, next one was, sometimes I would see a number of counselors sitting around and not involved with kid activity. Another one is not professional. 
professional. That would be in charge of me, didn't want to be there. Another one was, I felt the staff was not engaged at all with the kids. I was there early mornings and had three staff at the table eating breakfast while the kids played ball against the wall. I would pick them up and they would be in the gym with the staff at the table in the office. I saw more staff on the swing set than the kids were. It's a true statement. I've seen it too. So the last one was a counselor who was not a favorite counselor as he seems to not help with conflict resolution between kids and just gives them all a consequence, which is not fair, and he's not teaching the kids the correct way. Also, I still feel there was too much sitting by counselors at times, but it was definitely better than last year. Uh, next question was, did you find the new extended pre and post camp hours useful? 78% said yes, and 22% said no. Um, we had lots of comments on that. A lot of them were things like extremely helpful. Um, did not utilize it, but great, it was off. I'm glad it was offered. Um, didn't use it, but great. Wonderful hours. Didn't use it, but great. It would be nice if there was an option to do before or after care, just a few days per week or drop in style. That's kind of control. So you yeah. gotta have the staff. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean they don't they don't get that part of it that you're that you're having the staff ratio. Right. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. It's less of a difficult thing I can only know if you can do that. Yeah. I mean it would another thing too is we'd be considering So they have to take a whole day <coughs> at a time. Yeah. Okay. And okay. having an option of by the day is. I would think that you'd have to give them a week before notice, though, that what you're going to do the next week, because again, it's staffing. Right. Yeah, it's logistically. Um, it's hard. It's, it's just, just right really hard. hard. And you're going to have to collect money again for the following week, and we try to get out well, of that. That's, trying to <laughs> that's true. You're right. That's a good point. And if you add it to Sports Engine, every day that you add is There's another transaction, which means another 3% fee on that transaction. Yeah, it's, it's got to be the way we did it. <laughs> I think it worked that way, whether or not everyone was happy by it, but it was the but majority. But the thing was, is, it was so sure. inexpensive for it that people can't really complain about, like even if you brought your kids three days a week or whatever, it, what, you mm -hmm. might have been paying $5 a day. Right. Because we talked about that, because we, we should really oh, we did. It, I think. Because we added a, an hour to that, a half hour in the morning, a half hour at night, and I don't think we changed our rates. What were we last year? I thought it was. We um, went down this year. It was 15 in the morning last year and 15 at night. And we budgeted to raise it 25 pre and 25 post. Okay, so that would be a raise over last year. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's what you said. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so much for that. And that's budgeted in there. Uh, okay, so question six, what do you think of camp costs, tuition, registration, et cetera? Um, oops, sorry, I just lost it. Oh, calm down, calm down. <laughs> um, too expensive was 4% of the responses. Just right, meaning I got a good value for the tuition, was 77%. And too cheap, I'd pay more to fund improvements, trips, and activities, and that was 19%. And everybody answered. I'm not calling anybody to say it was too expensive, but yeah. to be honest, I mean, they're just either, they just didn't. One person say, said it was. Yeah. Oh, just one, okay. One person said it was, 20 said it was just right, and five said it was too cheap. Okay, what types of activities would your child participate in if they were offered? Um, a lot, a lot of good things. Um, basketball, floor hockey, softball, baseball, wiffle ball. Somebody just said any. <laughs> <laughs> No one said pretty much anything. No complaints from this year's activities. Um, sports, games, walks, field trips, arts and crafts, just about anything. Organized sports, design and build, um, science projects like STEM, tractor museum. Hmm. That's a gnome. Okay. Field trips, water activities on hot days. There was nothing in there. Library, they didn't go this year. And dance was offered and that didn't happen. And more water time and arts and crafts. Dance was offered and that didn't happen. So um, Brittany majored. She's actually um, did you, did yeah, you dance, dance education. Dance. 
leave. So, yeah, so, yeah, so we're like, hey, yeah. you know, do a class a couple yeah. times a week. Yeah. That would be awesome. And before camp started, she actually had scheduled herself for me to do that, but it, it just never happened. You know, there's a, there's a just a FYI to follow up for next year is um, there's a theater group in the mill, and she was trying to get involved in Family Day. It just didn't work out for her because it was she was scheduled for one of the first events of the day. Um, I bet you she would, it's curtain call or something like that. Curtain call, isn't she? Yeah, 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 and really nice girl. And maybe she would come and do a uh, day thing, you know, a part of the people in the morning, part in the afternoon or something. It's a, it's a thought. I can get you more details, um, her, her name and number and stuff, but um, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, somebody said Lego competition. Interesting. Basketball, basketball, dodgeball, capture the flag, basketball, soccer, table tennis. Seems like good offering. Um, and last one would be band visits. That's a good idea. Now, does the library still have museum passes that you can use to go to the children's museum? Them. But they probably have, not enough that we need, right? right? Yeah, they've got passes. They just don't know how many you have to show up for what. And yeah. I think there was a list out here. Huh. At one time. Wouldn't that be good? Well, is it children? Is that children's museum too young for them to for all of the age group? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, well, I don't know. They do camps yeah, at the age of like fifteen or something. They have three educators though, and one of them does do camps. She was talking to me about it from seven to like fourteen, mm -hmm. and she does all the school age groups that go in there. So I wouldn't see that like if they knew we were coming ahead of time. She could probably do an activity with them. Mm -hmm. And she runs their STEAM lab over there. Yeah. And you could do it like you do one of your field trips, you know, like you do the field trips that they're there. You know, yeah. they do one, like say one goes in the morning, one goes back, and then go in the afternoon. And I don't think any employees are there. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 there's no. At least one and over. Well, you could do the museum for part of the day, you do lunch at Henry Mill Park, and then do the, and then do, nice do the water park. Yeah. All right, next one was uh, please share more of your overall experience with us this summer, both positive and negative. Um, mostly positive, great summer. Um, overall, very pleased. Both camps are great, great experience. Occasional negatives were due to our child's behavior. I think the staff did as well as could be expected. <laughs> well, one owns it. <laughs> um, this one was. As a parent, I would like to see more options for rainy day activities. Disappointed by having so many movies. I actually agree with that. Um, um, I know that other local places like libraries offer Legos and other fun um, indoor activities on bad weather days. And that, um, oh, I'm a parent of child with three children. Different avenues of communication would also be helpful, which is something that we've talked about the last couple of years. I think that issue, something that we should really focus on as being one of the priorities. Um, the way that they communicate with parents is Facebook, Facebook or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that we should, maybe if we have a top three priority list, maybe take care of this communication issue once and for all. Mm -hmm. Like come up with a way that we can quickly communicate with parents when we need to. Because um, you had parents that were like, well, where are my kids going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because they're not always like me. I'm not always on Facebook when I'm at work or I'm not yeah. always looking at my phone. Yeah. But, I mean, the quickest way really is by really phone or mm -hmm. text or even if you have like a message pop-up mm -hmm. or something like that. But even if, you know, if, one thing I always had said to um, Brittany and Vanessa last year is just because some people don't look at their, you know, some people do look at their Facebook and they have that ability to do that and get instant messages. But then you've got another group, so you have to cater to those groups. So maybe you have somebody making phone calls, maybe you have somebody sending texts, maybe you have somebody you don't get any kind of response, then you should be trying another method. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the urgency of the reason why you're getting in touch, but I mean, you should at least try another what way if you're not getting a response in a certain period of time. And I think you have to know. I think you have to actually let the parents decide how they're going to receive communications. So for me, getting a text would work great. I'm sure right. to you, and right. I, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you guys the same way. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the text group, mm -hmm. 
And so I've been in a group that appears to be, you know, by Facebook. So they're the Facebook group, mm -hmm. you know, that's making right. And that's really not that It gives parents the choice. It takes, yep. it takes you a little while at the beginning, but once you do it, it's... And I had a conversation with somebody. I, she was wearing a waitress when I went out to dinner. She recognized me. We figured it out. It's Camp Raleigh. <laughs> and I don't know if she returned her survey or not, but I asked her what was the best thing and what was the worst thing. Best thing was the hours because she could drop her eight-year-old off and pick them up, and it worked in her schedule. Mm -hmm. And she's from Dover. Mm -hmm. This was the second year her child had come. She said it was an improvement over the previous year, but she would have liked additional communication. She was a little disappointed she didn't get any contact information until the camp had already started. Yeah. She had no way to like check in on her child. Yeah. So yeah, communication was her downfall, but she said it was better than the year before because the year before, her son, who was heavier, on the heavier side was being bullied. Um, um, the staff didn't step in, and at least this year he wasn't having that experience. Mm. Well, that's a positive. <laughs> <laughs> the father did was that a effect on the child's Does that have like everything that we like? Does that have texting? And all I, that my thing? phone's a correct phone. Okay. That's texting. Yeah. And you talk this? And it hit me hard because I, when I'm home, I can help on the computer so I can get to Facebook or the phones. It's the easiest way to contact me. It hit me, the realization hit me when I um, was talking to someone's work. And they said, yeah, you can email us a copy, but that will only go to 40 to 50% of our students. The rest of our families don't have internet access or check their emails. We need paper copies if you want it to go home to 100% of the families or right. kids. That's surprising. Yeah. I was wondering if um, maybe we should change our packet to maybe ask for a preferred uh, method of communication. Mm -hmm. Maybe we do that. Mm -hmm. A lot of, a lot of like, uh, doctor's offices and stuff, they do that, right? Now that I go to the chiropractor, they're like, what would you prefer? How do you prefer we contact you? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or send you a reminder, mm -hmm. and they texting or email or. Mm -hmm. You know, does the school do that too? I think they do, don't they? Um, ask for preferred method. I think they I only think send emails. I think. Uh, I'm getting texts that like say, really? Uh, they got me on this app called Remind. Yeah. Now, and anything that um, comes up, I get a notice through the app. Huh. Is that a particular classroom? That does no, it's that the whole school. It's the whole school. Yeah. It's the high school, and I think uh, middle school just. Uh, oh, from Marshall, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm on something for Marshall. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just wanted to write some Rollins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think Rollinsford is email or, or yeah, email. Yeah. Or they teach or, us to do their own Facebook pages. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But I don't, again, it's one of those things where I'm not always looking at the Facebook page. I can't. I mean, no. I have an option for me to find a day. A lot of people are allowed to do that at work. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I can get a text. But my teacher does her updates in the evening, so you can get them That's before you, either like between three and five or late at night, so you can get them like first thing in the morning mm -hmm. or late at night. I've had the kids at both the old summer rec and the new Camp Raleigh. The latter is amazing, such an improvement. Child safety is clearly important to staff who are very competent, caring, and communicative. This was an improvement even compared to last year. The camp is very well run, communication is easy. And the value is amazing, good price, no complaints here. Thanks for offering such a great program. Mm -hmm. I like those. <laughs> <laughs> camp remains. Yeah. Had a good time again this year, but I know that he enjoys it more on field trip days. And he loved pizza day. It would be helpful to have hydration breaks to ensure kids are drinking lots of liquids. Another thing that we, we do stress. Um, not impress whenever you use again. <laughs> wow. Was that one? one? I guess that was an individual comment. Um, yeah, I don't track the. Yeah. yeah. Uh, confused with the theme weeks that were posted in the handbook. It didn't seem they were activities that matched the themes. I didn't love that. She never, I don't happened. think that ever happened. Mm -hmm. It was talked about and then it never. Kids were always sweaty and cranky every day. Perfect. 
There was never an art project to come home. When there was, when there was water issues, there should have been a plan B. Why were they water. only offered ice pops once a day, or not at all on Sundays? They loved the pools and lakes. They did not like the teacher about weather. She wanted, she wanted to the library. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> <laughs> I feel there was too much yelling from the director level to get kids in the water. There had been structured activities on a regular basis and actually felt and schedule activities that really would have been less chaos. Agreed. Uh, it was great. Uh, too, much, too many movies. Uh, positive. Uh, enjoyed teen camp, uh, camp. Camp teen camp was perfect. <laughs> Did I write that one? That might have been mine. So two more questions. One, one was what changes would most improve our camp. A lot of it was around communication. Mm -hmm. um, that used Facebook and more better communication. Pickup was a little congested at times. Hmm. Well, um, we had about 90 kids leaving at 4 o'clock. It's not a lot you can do about that. Um, some additional activities at the school. Again, it's craft. And so we, um, some magician or cooking class, spice things up. The thing is, that people don't understand that all of that costs money. Uh -huh. And so we can do that, right? but you're going to have to have increased pricing. Because right. it's not a, this is, it probably could have been a little better based yes. on the price. But I'm just saying, but if you're going to have, you know, interaction magicians or, or bringing an art person in or, or any of these, they all yeah. cost money. Yeah. So supplies. Yeah. 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 Snack time, kids want to be able to buy a snack. <laughs> we had an issue with that too. Yeah. Um, so better staff, staff interaction, more activities, more activities, more sports. Okay. I wish I wrote that one. Keeping early and late to teen camp. I don't know if that means teen post. Probably. Oh, yeah. Wait, early and late. Keeping early and late to teen camp. Uh, that's what could we do to improve. Um, last question is, would you recommend Camp Raleigh and Teen Adventure Camp to other families? 73% um, said yes, definitely. 12% said yes, probably. 8% said no, probably not, which was two people. And 8% said no, definitely not, which is two people. So there was four that said Four that. people were really they were very happy. happy. Yeah. Um, so a couple of comments associated with that. This program was a great deal for the price. Uh, wish more activities. Um, some of this is horrible experience. Um, child came home hot and overheated every day. Sunscreen is always an issue. I'm really torn on this one. It really depends on if we get things together and engage the kids better. I can't say that that's um, not true. I mean, we sort of had that engagement. So, issue, so well, we did, and there's there's a fine, and you know, I'm just going to bring that up with our you know our one issue. You know, there's a fine line between engaging your kid and being pushy <laughs> about, you need to join us, you know? Mm -hmm. So, that's, that's and, and I felt, honestly, I can tell you I felt that way about the, the teen camp on Fridays. Like, my vision, my vision of teen camp Fridays didn't really happen from my understanding. Like, Friday mornings were supposed to be sport mornings. Like, they were supposed to be, like, volleyball, you know, and most of the kids just wanted to, like, hang out. It just seems like a lot, of the, a lot of the structure that we had the first year, we wanted to put this all together. We were very, like, the staff has to engage, staff has to engage. Yeah. But not, like, all the time. Like, the kids have to have free play and stuff like that. But it just seems like this is only going on the third year now, and it's not happening. Right. So is it, what is it? Is it? Yes. <laughs> and, the, and the other thing, too, is the, the activities. I mean, we saw it quite a few times in the survey. Why aren't the kids bringing home anything? Why aren't they bringing home anything? Yeah. And that was another thing we were big on was after the first year. Have them bring something home every, right. every now and again. It doesn't have to be every day, but right. like once a week, maybe. You yeah. Know, finish, and, you know, do Monday this week, Tuesday next, the next week. And, you know, so it's yeah. a different day or something. Because to me, it's, it's like engaging. It's, yeah. in, so you, you bring it home, and you're just like school. You're engaging your parents and what you did, and you have that conversation. And right. therefore, the parents are going to move on to sending their kids there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a method to the madness, but why is it not happening? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of disappointed.
is because, you know, I don't have kids there and it was really weird this summer. Um, but, you know, we, the first year we had more volunteers come in to do different activities. And this year, you know, that was kind of what we, I tried to um, get that going. And then this year I told there was no time in the schedule for these volunteers. Or, so it seems like if we had done more of that, um, having the volunteers come in, then they would have more things to bring home. Right. You know, yeah. or, so, um, I, guess so I think we get back on that, back on. Yes, I, I would agree. The volunteers to come in. Because then the community feels a part of the program. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'd be happy to know that we met and we've had that discussion, mm -hmm. all of us. So we decided we are going to bring them back last year sure. because it was really worthwhile. I mean, it was really great. And the kids loved it. And the second thing to that, and it just kind of hit me all of a sudden, was you know all this the pre planning and all the pre planning that we paid for as far as the director and the assistant director? And all these great things and all these. It didn't happen. None of that happened. So we paid all this all this time and energy to go into what they were planning and hardly any of it really happened. Yeah. That's too bad. Yeah. <laughs> so we kind of have to do the dictating to us. This is what's going to happen and then you can organize the day, but this has got to happen. This this part of it, I think. Right. Okay. I, I right. think we kind of let that go this year right. because we thought it was well, it, it's their idea they're going to be more engaged, right? Isn't that what we think? If right. If, if they're going to do it, they're going to be more engaged and it's going to turn out great, right? but it clearly didn't work. No. Yeah. Right. And yeah, I loved what you did the first year when we had Kuchiko Valley come in and that we had so that folk yeah, singer so came in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there was a lot of, what else did you do? The um, ice cream making. Mm -hmm. uh, cake decorating. Cake yeah. decorating. Yeah. And they went to the Motley Crown. Sue and I were talking, we were really excited because that's something we definitely want to bring back again this year. And I think, did you say you had a writing list going? I do. Oh, so we I, I mean, there's, that. when I was going after donations, Science Health Berwick wants to come in and do leather work. Mm -hmm. He's willing to come in and volunteer his time um, and do a small project with them or show them how to do leather work. He learned at camp he wants to make it fun and exciting for these kids. So my, my suggestion would be to put, um, ask the director to make sure they set aside the time for their field trips and a afternoon or a day that would just be set aside for activities that the committee is going to be bringing in that they don't have to schedule. Well, see, that first schedule that we made up um, for the first, you know, the first year we did this, we had everything laid out, yeah. right? And if we could just get that back, put that back again, and, um, recycle it for next year, and it, that's it's a guide right. for what we're looking for. Um, so the thing about that is, so items like this, we, is, it's a marketing tool. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we want to let the parents know some of the things we have planned, and so that the excitement gets energized so they register. But these are things we have to get done early, too. Mm -hmm. So it's Before a they time box situation. The people get caught up in, in another place or whatever yeah. in the summer. So I'm thinking February. February yep. is always in my, my head. So if we, as a group, um, tackle that portion of it um, mm -hmm. sooner than later and try and get people locked in, mm -hmm. we've got a great group of people down at the mill that may mm -hmm. be more than willing. I mean, send some or put some. Do you have a bulletin board or something down there that you could put there that we're looking to bring this to help enrich our kids and yeah. that's a great opportunity. Or even or even if we could maybe come up with a flyer, mm -hmm. I could walk around and throw it under every door. Every door. Yeah. You know? Be like, would you be willing? Do you have a skill that, you know, would you be willing to and it's only a couple of hours. It doesn't have to be a full day. Right. A couple right. of hours, you know. But not, not, I mean, showing your skill and letting kids get engaged in your skill, it doesn't mean that you have to pay a fortune for it, though. I mean, I mean if they would do it, you know, gratis, or, or if you have a, some supplies you have to buy for that one event or something, that wouldn't be so bad. But it's more about giving back to the community and having the people do it down that mill, you yeah. know? And we had a win-win situation whenever it came to fruition. Somebody at the mill, um, Homegrown Eats, mm -hmm. was willing to come in and make mozzarella cheese, mm -hmm. 15 kids max at a time. Mm -hmm. And Brandmore Farm couldn't give a donation, 
but was willing to donate goods. Mm -hmm. So if they could get the milk from Grandmore Farm, then we would have the goods donated mm -hmm. to make the cheese. And it never got scheduled and put in because I didn't, I let the directors know. And I don't know if it was appropriate for the younger kids, like the first through third, but the older kids, it would have definitely been appropriate for. Mm -hmm. I just found a flyer this year that we had last, a couple years ago, volunteer skills this summer. And asking for volunteers, give some ideas, who to contact. So we can do something with that. We always put some of those out. You might be interested in now you know, throw them over. I'll put one yeah, in the North Country like Arts Site. I can have them in for the greenhouse and how, <laughs> what they do to get all their plant going and stuff, you know. Something like that. I mean, they well, I just gave. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I was going to ask you guys for a donation. <laughs> and, I, and I said, Sure, everybody asks you for a donation, and, and she was kind of laughing. And she was like, "Oh, I'm sure we could do that for you." Yeah. But then I was kind of like, "We really can use a donation to cover our transportation costs." And like that's the one I keep like going back to. Mm -hmm. like, Thanks. But that's yeah. kind of bringing them into mm -hmm. in, in touring your facility and stuff. It's just learning about growing things. Yeah, <laughs> garden things. Yeah. Have a garden again. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a garden this summer. Cause they, they, enjoy having to water it, you know, oh. during the week or the pump picks up. But the kids really, the kids they, like they do like it. Oh, yeah, they love that. They spill water all over themselves. They love that stuff. So I can, I can redo this and um, I can send it out to you guys. You can take a look at it. Okay. And let me know what you think. And if I should, there are things I probably should add on there, just let me know. You can do that. I wonder, I know even who works here, um, who does the honey? And Kate does okay. the honey. Like, wouldn't that be There's a fun? There's also a gentleman on, um, um, oh, right on Discover Lane. Yes. Um, what's his name? Thank you. There you go. Oh.